I'm meteorologist Caroline Carithers with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with a tropical update for you. Time now is around 10.45 a.m. on September 23rd. It's Monday morning, 2024, and we have a tropical update for you from the National Hurricane Center. They have started issuing advisories on potential tropical Cyclone 9. This has been the area that we've been tracking for about a week now. The low pressure system finally started to develop. It does have a high chance of becoming a tropical tropical depression or a tropical storm. So the National Hurricane Center went ahead and made it a potential tropical cyclone so they can go ahead and issue some alerts for parts of the Caribbean as well as go ahead and give us a track, which is good news. So here is a look at potential tropical cyclone. Now it's still pretty messy. We do have broad circulation so that that center circulation is starting to form, but it's not formed yet. So because of that, you'll see the track is very, very wide. We also are likely to see shifts in that track as the center of circulation really starts to develop. So currently moving to the north at around six miles per hour, but it's kind of hard to get the motion nailed down because it is so disorganized. Max winds are at 30 miles per hour. So here is the latest track from the National Hurricane Center becoming a tropical storm likely by tomorrow morning. The next name on the list is Helene. It will stay in the Caribbean through tomorrow. Now, once we get into Wednesday, that's when we'll start to see this enter the Gulf of Mexico couple of things. Once it does so, the surf is going to kick up very, very quickly. This is going to be a rather large system as far as size goes. So because of that, we are likely to see rough surf pretty quickly as this enters the Gulf of Mexico. Once it enters the Gulf as well, it'll be moving over very warm water. So because of that, we are expecting strengthening pretty quickly of this system. And the National Hurricane Center does have this becoming Hurricane Helene around Wednesday morning, likely a Category 2 hurricane by Wednesday night. So that's quick as far as strengthening goes. So just keep that in mind. As far as the land falling track, right now it's pretty large. And that's because the center of circulation has not developed fully yet. And so there is still a degree of uncertainty as far as where this thing will go ultimately. And right now the track stretches all the way from the Okaloosa Walton County line. So Destin area all the way to Tampa. So that's a large area, mainly highlighting parts of the Big Bend and the Panhandle and even the peninsula of Florida too. So this, these are all things that we're watching, but of course, even small shifts of this track could really impact our effects from this system. So we're going to go ahead and keep you updated on that as far as the forecast models go. So here are the spaghetti plots that we're just in from this morning and they line up very well with the Hurricane Center track. So again, kind of spread. They're not all bunched together like we like to see, and that's because that main center of circulation has not formed yet. So they stretch all the way from Panama City to Tampa, and even the National Hurricane Center track is wider than that. So just keep that in mind. That's why it's because it's not fully developed yet. Once we get a defined center of circulation, that track will start to thin out and become a little bit more specific. Looking at the steering pattern here, what's steering this thing? We do have pretty solid steering mechanisms in place. So we've got low pressure to the west and that is what's going to push what will be Helene to the east. We also have high pressure to the east that is going to retreat. So the strength of these systems is really what's going to determine the ultimate path of potential tropical cyclone nine. So those are things that we're watching as well. As far as impacts go, as the current track stands, rough surf is a certainty no matter where it goes. Just because the system is forecast to be rather large in size, it is going to kick up the surf pretty quickly. As far as the chance for tropical storm force winds, this is for the current track issued by the National Hurricane Center. If that changes, this will change too. But right now it has the tropical storm force winds really focused from Panama City to Tampa with likely hurricane force winds, obviously closer to wherever this makes landfall. Um, but keep in mind, because again, the system is forecast to be pretty large in size, the effects will be felt well outside the cone of uncertainty. The cone is just where the center of the storm could pass, just a reminder of that as well. So bottom line, here's what you need to know about potential tropical cyclone nine it is expected to move into the gulf likely sometime on wednesday expected to be a hurricane by midweek eventually category two by wednesday evening the current track stretches all the way from destin to tampa so a big area again it'll start to narrow as it 
continues to develop, we get that center of circulation, shifts are still possible and shifts will affect what we see in the News 5 neighborhood. Timeline does look like Thursday as far as impacts go for wherever it makes landfall. For our local impacts, rough surf Wednesday into Thursday, but the other effects, again, depend on where it goes. But just be sure you review your tropical plan. We here at News 5 will continue to keep you updated with the facts and everything you need to know. This web story we are posting to our homepage, so all you have to do is type in WKRG.com. It'll be right there with the latest graphics and video and discussion, everything you need to know. And, of course, we'll keep you updated on air as well.